Alrighty then, let's solve some Ninja Trader problems. This is not Algobox, but we have discovered what's going on with Ninja Trader. I think this might solve a lot of problems for a lot of people with Ninja Trader. However, our app, particularly, we are pushing Ninja Trader to the limits. We have now got our new application inside of Enigma where we are now calling orders directly from the charts on full auto, semi-auto. So we are pushing it. And by pushing it, we were able to discover a few things. And if you missed out on yesterday's live stream, we're doing a lot of research. We have banged our head against the wall over and over again. And we spent quite an amount of time figuring out this one thing. We came down to affinity. The short answer is this. If you are already tech savvy, all you need to do is take a Ninja Trader and set it to an affinity of eight or less. And I'm gonna show you what that means. So um, if you wanna know what we need to do, go into your task manager, go to the performance tab. Now mine's already set like this. If you wanna kind of get a visual of this, yours probably might look like this. If you want yours to look like mine and see all of the CPUs that are available on your machine, including if you've got hyper threading, et cetera, simply right click in this graph area and select change graph to logical processors. And this is going to show you all of your cores on your machine. These happen to do uh, people use these interchangeably with cores, threads available, etc. When we're talking about affinity, we want to limit how many cores an application is going to be able to use. Now, if you think this is only an IntraTrader problem, like there are a lot of applications. Someone had brought up earlier today that MATLAB also has these types of, I don't know if I'd call them problems, but for lack of better terms, I mean, it's a negative term, but it is. It seems like a bit of a problem if you are using a high-end machine. Now, this only applies to those of you guys who have an i9 or better, okay? So this is the i9 class. Uh, I do not know about AMD. Uh, with AMD, you might have to do the same thing that I don't know. All I know is for sure on these, you want to run this with the i9 Intel series. You may want to do the same thing with AMD, but I can't really verify that because we haven't tested it. But um, what we found is inside of the threads that we're running through with NinjaTrader, we got a lot going on inside of our system as it is. So we're running it to the max. But then when we make this external call out from the indicator itself into the, I call this like another execution bucket, we're actually going to be executing. That is a separate call inside of NinjaTrader for whatever reason, on occasion, this has a problem calling back out and then coming back in. This could be several things, including the P cores and E cores of the i9 series, but I'm just gonna get right into how to fix it and solve it here today with you. So. We are going to go into NinjaTrader. I've got NinjaTrader launched already. Don't be confused. There are two sections uh, in the list for where you're gonna be able to find NinjaTrader. We're not going into the processes tab. That's this tab, so not this one. If you right click it, the option will not be there. We're gonna go over here to the details tab. Go to details, click on that, and then find NinjaTrader in the list. I'm gonna go down here if you press N. That'll take you to the ends. You could probably find IntraTrader executable right there. I'm gonna right click it and select affinity. Uh, let me, why is it not letting me zoom? Uh, let me take this off of always on top. One second. Options always on top is deselected. Okay, I don't know why it's not letting me do that. All right, there we go. So um, right click on Ninja Trader, select set affinity, and you're gonna get a new window that pops out here. And this is going to show you all of the processors that are available to you. On my machine, I've got a i9-10 series. So on the 10900, I've got 20 cores available to me. First thing that I wanna do is uncheck the all processors, and then the max that we can do, and I want to say we, but it's Ninja Trader, they've got this thing. I don't know if it's Ninja Trader 8 and they're stuck with 8. It's probably not just that simple. It has to do with, um, you know, I don't want to say legacy, but for lack of better terms, you know, the legacy systems have been around for a long time. Ninja Trader originally designed around, um, you know, max CPU cores of 8. And whoops, let's uncheck 8. You don't want to do 8 because this is one of those going all the way back to grade school, starting with a zero, you're gonna count by ones, but we're starting with zero. So if you want eight CPUs, you're going to select zero through seven for a total of eight. Make sense? All right, so I'm gonna set that to that and then okay. Now this has solved a lot of problems. Um, 
you know, that's let's show let's show you what we mean. So I can now come over here and set this even on 10900. I can arm long, arm short, set to continuous, and set this to absolute max level speed. Oops, wait for just a moment. Um, with no crashings, any of that stuff that people have been you know asking about before or put in a ticket and. Now, this really kind of, we really show this issue when we're running at super high speed. And the market, you know, could also, if you're running the markets at super high speeds, you know, you might also see this same thing. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just kind of give a quick demo here on what I mean here on how fast we can go with this. All right, so I'm set it up to, I'm just gonna go up to a thousand X speed here. So this starting at 12.30 a.m., you know, it's gonna be a little bit slow there, but now starting picking up in the middle of the night, you'll start to see this thing just absolutely Target crank. filled. Target filled. Target filled. Now I'm gonna set it all the way to full max and just Target watch it go, filled. go, go. This Target um, filled. oftentimes would, Target you know, filled. hang up, lock up. Wow, it's just super Target fast. I mean, it's just filled. printing bars, Target. printing bars, Target. super Target. fast. Target. No Target issues, filled. no crashes, no Target. lock ups. Target filled. Um, Target filled. Target cool filled. So Target. You'll Target. Set that Target. On Target your filled. Machine as well. Target filled. Um, target one other target thing. So filled. Target filled. That's target, cool. tar target, but target thing with filled. These target filled. Target filled. Target filled. On the target I9s. Filled. Let's talk about um, tar go target and pause target this here for a filled. Um, we want to go over here to let's grab um, this little app. So. Again, this part is not necessarily absolutely necessary anymore, but um, we have told you guys before in some of our performance video things to make sure that you set your power settings to high performance. Um, the parked cores issue is gonna be less of an issue if um, you know you just did what we just did right there. We're setting our core affinity to the uh, top cores in the list, which is also going to be your uh, what's called your P cores, and you know I don't want to bore you with a lot of that stuff. If you want to get into the nitty gritty on all that, Google it and see what E cores versus P cores are. But uh, setting those uh, at the very beginning with NinjaTrader is going to save you a lot of headaches just going forward, and you'll still have your other CPUs and E cores, P cores for other things on your computer while you're running. But NinjaTrader just has a problem with these i9s from what we can tell. So this is a cool little app called Quick CPU. Someone in our room, I can't take credit for finding this. It's awesome. Our team really worked together on, you know, finding different applications. Um, some people say, oh, you know, what about Process Lasso? Well, we went down that path. Process Lasso caused me way more issues than it solved in my opinion. This app, however, I'm really liking the simplicity of this. I'm gonna come right up here in the top left, thanks to Coop earlier today, kind of going through and walking through this for us right here, gonna click on these um, little power bars there, like on your wireless. And if you click that one right there, this one gives you a nice little interface right here and just know, yes, I want all those things and click accept. That's step one, it is a two-step process. Here we go, so step one, I'm gonna click apply after I click that little button right there for max performance. And then right down here, you'll see the core parking and everything all set to 100%, um, not to be confused, it's a little bit weird because core parking is not something you want to do, but basically this is limiting the core parking. Yes, we don't want core parking. Basically all cores, use them anytime you need to. There we go, and we're setting performance to 100%. Hit apply right here. Same thing, changes successfully applied. Super handy little tool right there, but the CPU affinity, people have been asking about that. What are we talking about in the room? Um, yeah, we have discovered that, yeah, it's it's Ninja Trader stuff there, and um, yeah, there you go. Any questions? Uh, sorry, I decided to go ahead and do this as a live stream. I did a recording earlier and it borked up. So I was like, all right, just pressing the go live button here. Uh, we will drop this out in a maybe a shorter video, cutting out the intro and maybe some of this other chatter here. But I want to see if there are any other questions. Um, let's say, Vinny, would you like me to share the script that automatically launches NT8 on eight cores? Um, yeah, so you want to share that out? Send it over to me first, please. Let me take a look at it. Um, and what are the kind of questions we got there? Just post in Discord chat for 
Cool. All right, so if anybody has any issues around that, pop them there in the Discord channel chat, left-hand side for the tickets and things. And um, yeah, happy Saturday, everybody. I will catch you guys in the next one. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis, G, and the rest of the gang, I am sending out the big H down. Target yeah. filled. Target filled. Target, target filled. Target filled. Target, target filled. Target, target, target filled. Target filled.